What is up, guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox. We do that small tech, and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And today we're back with a case from Spec. This is gonna be the candy shell grip to unbox, do a quick review. You know, I'll throw up the link in the video description if you want to check this one out. Pricing, I think I got this for like 30 bucks, so actually, a pretty decent price one, maybe 25 30 bucks for this one. So, um, you know, this actually specs a good brand. Uh, price is pretty decent. We're going to check this one out, see if it's a hit or miss. In the past, I've actually been really impressed with this case. They've kind of switched it up in the years past, but I think this was one of those cases that gives you um, that extra grip, which it says grip, uh, but this one has come with the MagSafe as well. So let's go check this one out to see if it's a hit or miss for your brand new 16 Pro Max. With the white, it comes in quite a few different color options, but this is the one I can get the quickest. Uh, so you can see a little candy shell grip, eight foot drop protection, which is pretty decent. Uh, MagSafe. All the good stuff. That's pretty much it. Let's get to it to see if it's a hit or a miss. It's gonna bust this one out right quick. Now that color is that white looks clean, but that's gonna get dirty. Um, now this would not be my first choice of colors, but I went with it because, like I said, first choice available. Little spec branding, like that little clean look to it. That black and white looks good too. Um, camera protection right there, nicely done. Extra reinforcement. Interior, you got the actual clean spec branding right there. A Mac safe in the interior. It's like a hard shell plastic on the interior. It's actually soft. But actually, I shouldn't say that. It's a soft texture, a soft coating of a rubber plastic on the interior. Very nicely done. I like this. It's got a little flex to it. Probably a little bit more flex than yours fast, but it feels like it's going to give you some extra cushion as well. Like this way, this one done. Let's see the actual button itself. You can see what they did here. So they kept it exposed. But they still give you full um, camera or full edge touch protection, whereas like this OtterBox one, that's a big boy protection case, completely exposed. So they did that. I like the way they did that. At least it's going to give you full edge touch protection. It's going to take out that 16 Pro big boy, big boy, big boy Max, and wipe it down, wipe it down like we do. Shine it up real nice. All right. I'm going to slap it into place like this. Nice tight, nice, tight fit. Ooh, that looks good. That black actually looks clean. I mean, it's good. I'm not going to use this case too much because it's going to get dirtied up. Uh, but look at that. That black and white looks clean with the black logo right there. Wow. Camera protection looks good. Extra reinforcement on the camera hump. Go and check out the lip because everybody likes that fat lip zip. The protection looks good too. Nice thick lip. Well done, spec buttons click in responsive i like them all and then you get extra grip on the sides i almost failed to mention that look at this extra this is why it's called the grip case you can see on all the edges you get that little ridges and that's the grip nicely done cutouts look clean and precise right there good angle that black and white looks clean i like the way that looks and then this is going to be in terms of case reviews this year, this is probably going to be the most divisive thing, and it's the new button, where a lot of case companies just have not gotten it right. This one, it's a little tough. It's it's not too bad. You can hear it still clicking. It's still clicking. I like it. But it's still easy. It's easy enough to get to if you need it, but if you don't, it's going to be hard to kind of just, unless you're actually reaching for it. And then you still got the edge-to-edge -edge protection on there. And then the power button, or yeah, the power button right there. Overall, well-built case, full edge touch protection. I feel like I'm going to get some really good camera protection, really good lip protection. And then I like what they did with the button on this one. And it's actually not too much in terms of price point. Um, some of the cases are going up in price. And this one, 25 bucks. I'm going to call this one a hit out of the gate. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Calling it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.